sponsored by DCP Player, a simple way to view a DCP on any Windows based PC. Hello Cinema Tech Geeks, it's James Gardner here and today I'm at Datasat and I'm talking to Michael Smith uh, of Datasat who, who does the, the training for the AP20 and we're going to be talking about the AP20 today. Uh, in my opinion it's probably one of the best sound processors on the market. Uh, especially if you are doing something a little bit out of the normal like doing some sort of video, other sources such as satellite etc. Now I'm going to get Michael Smith to run us through some of those features um, but just first before we continue, Datasat is, used to be another company, what was that initially? Uh, formerly it was DTS, Digital Theatre Systems. So DTS is alive and well and still developing very nice hardware by the looks of it. Well, actually, they well, are, as but we're no longer DTS. As data set, which it's I mean. Data set, yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay, anyway, so we'll, we'll, we'll first we'll go into this product. Uh, now, I want to go over some of the features which make me think, well, in my opinion, makes it probably one of the most fully featured units on the market. And if you need these sort of features, you can't really go past it. So, first of all, um, this unit. Um, takes HDMI in with audio, so it's basically a, a, a video switcher for, for example, you might have a, a satellite, satellite box, a cable box, and a PlayStation 3, mm -hmm. and you can do all the audio and video through here into your digital projector, is that correct? That is correct, yes, this box will do that, yes. So that's the only cinema grade box on the market that will do that, so that's a pretty hard feature to, to, uh, to look over. And secondly, um, some of the other really nice features where it can save you quite a lot of money is um, built-in um, monitor and automation. How does that work? That is correct too. This unit also features a built-in monitor to monitor your audio obviously and an automation system that is traditional automation along with network control or serial control however you want to do it. So basically you can pipe through any SMS you, w you don't need to use any outboard I.O. box, you could actually pipe that's it through correct. this as yes, well. Absolutely, yeah. So this box that, will do it. And it's all configurable, so whatever you want to do. Well, that's fantastic. It saves you another, yeah, like, absolutely. Uh, monitor saves you $1,000. Mm -hmm. Your I.O. box, there's another $1,000. We're, we're looking good here. Yep. Um, and finally, this is something I'm not terribly clear on. This is the D-Rack. D, D? The D-Rack. The D-Rack is part of the room tuning portion. It's an option, and we can run through that a little later, but that's part of the... Uh, part of the box that you can do as well. It requires a direct kit to do it um, and there's many advantages to doing it as well. Okay cool now I think we'll cover that in a minute but first of all um, otherwise this is a 16 channel fully um, network controllable you can VNC and do remote support with it very easily which is another very big plus you don't need to have any software you just have to know its IP address and a VNC which is the common tool used with all projectors now mm -hmm. and you can get on here and you can maintain it and monitor it and fix bugs if the operators have problems so very good tool any comments on that or what other feature sets do you think that that we need to mention here oh gosh um there's quite a few actually. I mean, not only automation, the uh, all the other capabilities. Uh, this box offers a lot of inputs and outputs that most boxes don't on the market today. So, quite a bit. One other really good feature with this unit is the fact that it runs very cool. And when we're talking about uh, this equipment, you know, going to last us 10, 20 years. Um, the, the heat output of equipment is a very good indication of how long it's going to last and how reliable it's going to be. And having a look in this unit, which I'll probably I'll cut to later on, we'll take the top off and show it to you, it's designed very well. It's designed to be fixed and repaired. Uh, I'm very impressed, very impressed with the, uh, the design and manufacture of this unit because it's, it's built to be something that's going to last you oh 10, yes, 20 absolutely. years. Not only that, um as we'll talk about it, there's expansion ports on there as well. 
So whatever the future holds, we can design a board for it, slip it right in. You don't have to buy new equipment. Well, while we're on that topic, what expansion boards can you get for it now? Currently right now, one of the ones that's offered as an option is for film playback, the optical board. That was our first optional board that we installed on the unit. It works quite well. So if you're running a, a, a digital system next to a film system, no problem? Oh, absolutely. No, you can go between the two, whatever you want to do. Yes, absolutely. Fantastic. Okay, now let's talk about this new feature, which is the first in, in any cinema processor on the market is the Dirac. And, Michael, so uh, how is this going to improve our auditorium for, you know, for a cinema owner? Why, how, wh what's it going to do for him? Well, starting off, this does do traditional third octave if you wish to go that route. Uh, the other route would be the Dirac system. The Dirac is a room tuning optimization type of... Uh, so, so this is a, a replacement to doing the typical X-curve tuning of a room? No, 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 no. It doesn't replace it. It's actually a different way of measuring the room and doing different things. It doesn't replace the X-curve in any way. It, it, it actually is a little bit more accurate uh, on doing that sort of thing. So, but I'm not much of an audio person. Okay. Um, what if I if I had this compared to a typical sound processor, what would I hear differently in the room? Well, a lot of things it takes into account. The Dirac it does um, impulse response corrections, things like that. Um, the stereo imaging is much more distinct and clear. Um, it's just something you got to really hear to to really notice the difference. And okay, because I'm I'm not much of an I'm not just trying to get it to layman's terms, but. Sure. Um, one of the things, it, 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 does it help, like, from what I understand, you've got peaks and troughs in rooms due to the design, etc., and that could obviously make the guy sitting in this chair hear something different to the guy sitting three chairs down or something. Is, does it do anything with that sort of improving in that sort of area? Or? Uh, if you mean, does, like, a person on one side of the theatre hear the same thing as a person in other seats? Yes, that's one of the things. It really balances out the room. So everybody in the majority of the seats will hear the same experiences everyone else. Well that's great because as a yeah, cinema owner that's what, that's, what, that's what I would absolutely. like to hear because yeah. um, I want to make sure all, all the patrons get the po best possible experience even if they're not sitting in the best possible seat. Sure. Sure. Okay cool. Thank you Michael uh, for taking us through the feature set of the of the AP20. It's definitely a processor to, to have a look at. Uh, if you're looking at processors or upgrading your system or, or whole cinema chain, it's definitely a processor that you probably want to hear before you make that decision. Um, and, uh, and I hope um, Datasat keeps um, doing some more engineering at this sort of quality because it's, you know, it means that they're, they're back a bit different name, but obviously they're, they're some, a company in the cinema industry that we need to take notice of again. Uh, they haven't been forgotten. Okay, thank you, Michael. You're welcome. And that's, uh, that's James Garner for Cine Tech Geek. Bye for now.